Hello and welcome back to special capture footage of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Today we're looking at kidnapping and rescuing orphans, because why not? Those are two of the missions that you can get started with in Whitechapel at the very start of the game. So, I have been tasked by the local police officer with collecting this man here, who's got lovely tartan, I must add, Homer Dalton. Ideally, I want to bring him back alive. I mean, that's the whole point of kidnapping, right? So, uh, yeah, let's see how we do with this. It's not always something I'm very good at, is uh, leaving my targets alive, whether it's by accident or not. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, right, so, as you can see, Eagle Vision is in. Now, if you've watched the other demos, then you'll be aware of how it works. You now have numbers above the head, which gives you an idea of the level or difficulty of the mob. You can also see there's a blue guy through the wall. I believe he is an ally of mine or a neutral party. Actually, the green is mine. I'm not sure what the blue is. It might be the police. It might be the untainted, unthingied police. Um, but I'm going to attempt to kidnap this guy. Now, it doesn't always work. If you get spotted, it kind of goes wrong. Um, and it's something that I will obviously refine as I play the game more and get used to it. But this is the bounty hunt style mission. This is a mission that assumedly continues throughout the rest of London and the maps and so forth and so you should become quite adept by the end of the game at it and not do what I've just done which is attempt to kidnap him in broad daylight because of course that's not gonna work but you know why not I thought I'd have a go anyway I didn't realize I was just a dumbass about the whole thing but that's fine so it's not the end of the world he is running away I could tackle him but there are more and more people following me so actually even if I do tackle him as you can see it doesn't work because I'm not anonymous anymore there are people here and really it's a terrible, terrible plan. So actually, what I should do in this situation, as you can see I'm being outnumbered, is just run the fuck away. So, <laughs> I, uh, you have to skip forward to me hiding on a roof and trying to reset it, the whole thing. Uh, luckily, you can do that, at least with this one. I don't know if later on it's the end of the game and, you know, you, you fuck up, you fuck up. Um, and you have to come back later, but at least for this one, it's quite forgiving because it is one of the first missions that you can do. Now, because I've tackled him and upset his... I, I don't know whether I upset him or he would have walked that way anyway. He's chilling out actually on his own, which is really handy. And it actually works very well for me because I don't have to run into the middle of everyone to try and catch him. Now, if, if I had been a bit more patient, can't climb that wall, don't know why I tried. You can see there's no handholds, dumbass. It's me, not Evie. Um, if I'd had more patience, which is what I should have done, because Evie is about stealth and about patience, not like Jacob, which I think is probably my spirit assassin out of the two of them, because I'm in so impatient. What I should have done is I should have cased the area, took the guys out one by one, and then kidnapped him. Versus what I actually did, which was just went, all right, ran in and really messed up. Now, um, in a bit, I'll show you Evie's combat skills, because... Whilst they're not as good as Jacob's, Jesus Christ, they're fun. And in fact, actually, I really quite enjoyed just doing it as Evie, and I'll, I'll show you that later. But this is what we do. So we've caught him. Now, you remember in the Evie demo from Gamescom, there was that circle that you, you know, you used the, the guy to, like, sneak in and kill that woman. Similar concept of this walking circle. They also will try to struggle. You need to restrain them. And... Uh, the slower you move, the smaller your circle of detection is. So you have to be quite careful with it. Also, the restrained thing is a bit of a pain. Um, I'll be honest, it was a bit clunky for me. I don't know whether it was just that specific instance and it was just being awkward for me, but um, the restrained feature was a bit sort of like, it's not working. Um, again, who knows, it might be refined. That, the rest of them were fine. It was just that one on the stairs that didn't seem to work. And then obviously if they get out, you don't press it in time or whatever I did wrong, uh, then they'll try and they'll try and escape and then you may have to knock them out. But either way, you then shove them in a carriage and then you do the driving bit, which is always the worrying bit, is driving the carriage back with the target, delivering it, and they can do whatever they want to him. Now this one has actually been, this, this task has actually been given to me by, I think it's the chief of police or a police officer who is in the employ of the assassins. Um, so I assume I'm delivering it to him in a long-winded sort of 
round the back alley kind of way. Oh yes, yes, there we go. Glad to see him behind bars. Yay! So you notice I've got a loyalty level now with Frederick Aberline, and he is one of my associates. Now, associates, if you've played like World of Warcraft or any game that has factions, you'll be very, very conscious of what they are and how they work. Basically, it's individuals in the game that offer specific quests or types of quests, and you can gain reputation with them, or loyalty, as uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate is going to call it. And by doing so, you unlock certain different, unique and valuable rewards, whether that's weaponry or, I, you know, something else, a bigger, maybe a bigger ammo belt. I have no idea. Um, Henry Green's one is very big on, like, you get a new Kukuri, I think it's called, which is the Indian Blade. That's one of the examples that I saw. So obviously it makes sense that if, you know, you're a massive fan of using swords, you might want to go and rep up properly with Henry Green versus repping up with Clara, um, who might offer something entirely different. you notice as well, as I've been walking around, I've been doing little things. So I've been doing like the crowd events that you saw in Unity. I've just picked up some beer bottles that I have no idea what they're for. Again, collectibles. Uh, XP is a big thing in the game. XP and money because of the stuff that I obviously can't show you uh, with the progression menus but trust me guys when when I can show you holy shit we're gonna spend like years looking at them because they're amazing there's progression for your gangs there's progression for Evie for Jacob and a load of other stuff so what I'm now doing is I'm doing another task in order to conquer Whitechapel so I need to do four tasks in order to take back the borough um, now this one is just to eliminate the blighters. So the gang that Henry talked about as being problematic, that's what we're doing. If I can free and protect the captured clinkers as well, which are the guys who've got, I think, a grey sort of texture to them, outline, then even better. Uh, whether that happens, I, I think I manage it, but we'll find out. Um, yeah, so um, I've just hidden a body, you know, in the usual place, stick it in there, no one will ever know. That guy's gonna be a problem. I'm just marking them up. You know how this works. You saw, if you've seen the previous ones, you should know how it works. And if you've played any Assassin's Creed games, especially the modern ones, you should get the gist of how all this stuff goes down. But just in case, I'll assume you don't know. Once again, we've got chests. You'll notice I'm picking up silk and leather. Those can be used to not only upgrade yourself, I think, and to craft certain, um, like, items so cloaks and things like that Evie's got some fantastic cloaks but also to upgrade your gang members and that means you can give them better weapons you can level them up as well um, so you can level them up to like level 5 and then like level 10 you can give them carriages and there's just so much shit you can do and um, that's something I think they've taken a little bit from probably a little bit more from Black Flag than they did from Unity is collecting to upgrade I did see as well on the map there are shops, so I assume you could buy shops as well. So there should be quite a lot of facility for making money, but also putting money into stuff, because I think the problem we had in the last ones is you get to a money cap and then you're like, I don't need it or really care. So hopefully in this, because there's far more options for you to do things, you can just, you know, put money into each and everything. Come on, there we go. Once again, assassinations, I'm kind of good at them sometimes. Um, that snipe is going to be a problem, that's what I'm sort of aiming for, to take out. And I wanted to show you guys this because it shows you a different setting in terms of light levels. Um, because earlier, obviously, we had some daylight stuff. There's also, in a minute, whether it's in this video or the next video, I'll show you um, a rescuing the orphans mission, where you have to go and rescue a load of kids from a factory. That's completely different as well, and it's all quite on message I think like I'm looking at it and I you know I see certain things and I get London vibes UB have always been pretty good at get, getting locations right but some of this stuff is really like I get very Victorian London vibes from it perhaps we can harness the gangs after all this guy so I can free this person and by freeing them I hope she's not in any real Oh god, no, 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 no. Now luckily Evie can handle herself as well in a fight. The cane sword. Actually, I think it's just a cane, I'm not really sure. No, it is a cane sword, because I upgraded it. The cane sword, she kicks ass with. I'll show you again. This will probably be in the next video along with the orphans. 
uh, but there's a fantastic fight on the top of a train where we take out the uh, like gang leader for the area, and she is amazing. I mean, now I've sort of gotten the gist, apart from missing the occasional counter or two, now I've gotten the gist with her, it's, she's really fun. And the finishing moves are ridiculous every time. So there we go, I've taken back a gang stronghold. I've also saved all the clinkers, which gives me extra XP. Again, you know the gist, and also Henry's quite happy with me, which means I'll slowly get up to level one and get the Kukuri and all of that stuff. And it also means I have unlocked an area of the map. Again, I can't show you specifics of the map. This is probably the closest I can show you. Now, what we've now done is we've attracted the attention of the gang leader. You and your brother are attracting the wrong kind of attention. I would be careful. Yes, you should be, Mr. Kalok. As you like. Now, he's not going to actually do anything here. He's going to fuck off, but he's going to send his little friends. And there's always this, with the gang strongholds, there's always this little fight that you've got to have with your guys against their guys, and then you win, and then you take it back. And actually, to be honest, I don't really have to do a lot, because my lot are pretty good. But she does do some really good finishing moves. Something that they have added, and I can't remember whether you could do it in Unity, but you could do it in previous ones. I don't think you could do it in Black Flag is you can recruit people. So do you remember back in the days of Ezio, you could just be like, hey lads, come with me? That's back. So you can recruit your rooks and you'll notice there's a little counter on the right hand side and an R1 hold, which not only allows you to give them dismiss commands or wait commands, but it also allows you to recruit a certain amount and it will show you that number via the little number of pips. So you see there, I can disband them. Thank you. Right time because I didn't want them following me over the rooftops. I mean, it's just really loud and clunky and pff, I've got a long way to go and I don't really want them to come and fuck up this mission that I'm about to do with the orphans. If you would like to see the orphan mission, then stay tuned for the next video, which will be out later tonight, where you can see both the orphan mission and the final gang leader mission for Whitechapel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.